Well, folks, we made it back from uh, the steam engine show. And as I told you in another video, I was coming up here to pick up uh, the Cummins block right there. And we've got that all uh, loaded up, ready to go. So, yeah, that is that. Um, and hopefully, I don't know if it'll be in this video, but um, I will be running an update on right there, um, my cousin's truck. We are gonna go for a spin in that, so I'll go ahead and video that. We have the Cummins uh, block all strapped down, ready to roll uh, back home tomorrow. So you can see my cousin did something pretty cool uh, with his dash, he had to make the cluster uh, himself out of steel. Uh, he said eventually this will be getting painted or powder coated, something. Uh, but it all works. Everything's working, the fuel levels, volts, RPM. Uh, then you got miles per hour. You got oil pressure, water temp. And then you have like your uh, boost gauge, um, exhaust and uh, fuel pressure so that um, and you got the radio everything so oh, that was the parking brake so we're gonna take a look at under the hood now and whoa uh, so this part is really sweet I mean um, you got dual catch cans here, um, and he's powder coated a lot of stuff. I think he's going, uh, he has, uh, his old build was purple, but now he's doing the blue. So he still needs to, um, powder coat all that, but you got the everything, P-pump. Um, and all that so it came out really clean um, and he went with the uh, electric fans that are made exactly for this kind of swap so that clearanced everything really good so yeah it came out really cool um, I still have not gone for a drive in this. Uh, he does need to get some wheels eventually. He will. But uh, until then, that's the rundown. Um, he does have, um, I think it's the bigger uh, valve springs. Um, so, you know, it's, it's got that. He's replaced the uh springs in the p pump as well for more fuel um so you know it, it's a ripper for sure um i am um new kind of new to the uh whole cummins motor thing you know as you can see i've got the uh seven three um and, and you know, I, I don't know. It's really cool. They're very simple, especially if you go with a VE or P-pump um, style, and it's all mechanical. You don't have any computers to work with. That's what's so nice about this um, is that you literally, you, you keep the electronics of the uh, RAM, um, you know, like the this truck, you keep the electronics, but uh, you don't use any of the electronics for the engine. So you still have all your blinkers. Um, everything works, except you just need like two, I think it's two wires to run to the actual engine itself. So it's super easy, super simple, um, and super easy to do the swaps. So that's why I decided to go with the Cummins uh, for the swap on the uh, Jeep that we're doing. We are about to go for my first ride in the 1500 uh, 
come in swapped adding a little bit of oil but uh, excited to see what happens here oh, the downpipe came out nice yeah it turned out pretty good so that's one thing I hadn't mentioned anyways he is down a cylinder um, so that is an issue there we go so he is down a cylinder and he does have a new Cummins long block quartered and it's supposed to be getting to him here shortly. So anyways, that aside, let's see how this thing rides.